Prior to engaging with the International Monetary Fund, various stakeholders had anticipated that social intervention programs, including the free SHS, would face expenditure cuts due to the conditionalities imposed by the Bretton Woods Institution. However, the government, particularly regarding the free SHS policy, provided firm assurances of its commitment to safeguarding interventions that benefit the poor in society. During a joint press conference with the IMF, Finance Minister Ken Furiata reiterated these assurances, stating that Ghana's IMF program would ensure social protection. Nevertheless, Africa Education Watch, an education think tank, contends that social intervention programs such as the school feeding program and the basic education expenditure are already facing challenges as a result of the IMF program. They argue that this situation is disproportionately affecting the poor and vulnerable in society. Speaking to City News, Kofi Asari, the executive director of Africa Education Watch, emphasized the need for the government to review the medium-term expenditure framework under the IMF program to ensure adequate funding for the education sector. There is no basis to cut down on basic education expenditure and, and, and still, uh, you know, profess publicly that social spending or social interventions are not being affected by the IMF. They are being negatively affected by the IMF program. And that is why we are going to have a discussion with the IMF mm -hmm. and have discussions with our government that the medium-term expenditure framework must be reviewed because the budgets for 2023 and medium-term projection for 2024 2025 for Ghana School Feeding Program, for basic education, for the entire education sector must be reviewed to reflect minimum funding norms. Let me conclude by saying that holistically, education is a social commodity. The education budget has been cut. The share of education of the national budget was 12.9%. 12.9% of the national budget was allocated to education. That's the lowest in about 20 years. The Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, has welcomed the government's assurances that various social intervention programs in the education sector will not be impacted by the IMF program. However, NAT urges the government to remain committed to its pledge. Thomas Musa, the General Secretary of NAT, expressed this sentiment. So to say that it should be scrapped, that one... It is not in the best interest of any country. Remember, in sustainable development goal four, okay, the SDG, the SDG goals, goal four says that the cliche says that leave no one behind. Mm -hmm. We are left with seven years. We'll be getting to the end. So how do you say that you take that one out? When you take it out, you are going to leave people behind. So please, uh, saying that it should be scrapped, it is not an option at all. I repeat. Scrapping it is not the option. It is not the way to go. It runs counter to the sustainable development goal for. It runs counter to our constitution, Article 25, both Articles 25 and 38 and all that. This one, it is the policy direction as to how to get it done. And we are saying that let us use both the distributive and redistributive to get it done. And everybody will be fine.